According to the Caribbean Consent Group, they send an invitation letter to the Minister of Urban and Rural Development through the Caribbean Constituency Council. However, they are under the impression that the minister never received it. We are here disappointed. We are here disappointed standing here in front of you to express our dismay and disbelief that these things really happen in a free Namibia where we have to promote democracy and promote the culture of listening to another person in order to identify and see how best the problems of the community can be solved. The group says the no-show up by the council management was deliberate. To our dismay, to our dismay, we happened to hear today that the constituency councillor is on leave and has sent the request apparently to the minister. We don't know how much truth is in this. Neither did she confirm before going on leave the status quo of our request. The group claimed to have followed all the channels and simply want to be heard. We have followed the, the, the procedures. We have followed the procedures. It's not that we didn't inform or request. Here we are having this document and there is a stamp from the police, a stamp from the constituency councillor confirming receipt of this document. The question is why? Melania, why? Melania, why are you doing this? Responding to the allegations, Caribbean Constituency Councillor Melania Njago said that her office received the invitation letter and forwarded it to the Minister of Urban and Rural Development. The minister then replied and gave the reasons as to why he couldn't receive the petition. She said all this information was forwarded to the Constituency Councillor. If it happens that we are being ignored, we will have to take unspecified actions because we are tired. We are tired. The group could not share the contents of their petition, stating that it was for the minister only and sharing it would jeopardize their mission.